Welcome to the second video of our suite of eight mini videos to support you through the data requirements needed to run the local housing market assessment tool, referred to as LHMA in this video. Please use these as reference resources prior to and as you populate the LHMA tool. You will need to have populated your housing market areas as shown in video one before starting this task. This video focuses on the local authority household projections by housing market area. If you are rewriting your local authorities LHMA, you will need to run the tool on all Welsh Government household projections and copy the tables in section four, sheet labelled summary tables for the LHMA report into your LHMA. You will need to select an initial household projection from this drop down list to be able to estimate the average annual newly arising need. You have five options, principal, higher variant, lower variant, user projections one, or user projections two. The first three are the Welsh Government household projections. The principal projection is based on recent past trends in births, deaths, and migration. The higher variant is based on assumptions of high fertility life expectancy and migration. The lower variant is based on assumptions of low fertility, life expectancy and migration. The tool uses the Welsh Government's latest published household projections. The user projections allow you an opportunity to run the estimates informed by your local authority growth strategy plans. It cannot be the only option used. It would need to be in addition to using the Welsh Government household projections. To input your user projections, click on the user projection button here or move to the next sheet. The household projections will be required over the 15 year LHMA period in line with local development plans. This data is also required by household categories. For example, for four persons, it can be made up of all adults, two adults, two children, or one adult and three children. The household projections generate the estimated average annual newly arising need. This need is taken as the difference in the household projections over the 15 year LHMA period and shared equally over those years. Moving to table 2A, you will need to decide what percentage of the newly arising need is allocated to each housing market area. You can allocate 0% to a housing market area, but you cannot have a negative percentage. In setting these percentages, you can use data sources such as the census data, the local authority housing register, or the local authority growth strategy plan. Table 2B then allocates the average annual newly arising need across each housing market area using the percentages you have input into table 2A. You can choose different allocations for the first five years from the remaining 10 years if there are housing policies or strategies to support this decision. Moving to table three, the data in this table will be used to allocate the newly arising need requiring social rent by number of bedrooms. You can use the drop down list and from these you will need to select a range of one bedroom, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, or four plus bedrooms for each household category from one person down to five plus persons. This allocation policy allows you to select up to two options when choosing the required number of bedrooms for a household category. For example, you could select two bedrooms and put that at 100%. Alternatively, you could say that a two bedroomed would only be required 90% of the time and a one bedroom would be required 10% of the time. The overall percentage must always come back to 100%. This completes table three. These calculations are further discussed in the video covering the existing unmet need. Section four of the tool has a sheet label scenario testing for you to vary the key assumptions and where relevant the data sources to understand the sensitivity 
of the additional housing need estimates to these changes. When you are content with all your dated inputs and key assumptions required to estimate the additional housing need, you can run the tool on the required Welsh Government household projections using the sheet labelled Summary Tables for the LHMA report in section 4 of the tool. When you have completed all of these steps, you can tick the relevant box on the front page of section 2. And that concludes the data requirements for the household projections. For further information, you can consult the LHMA guidance or email Welsh Government at afdl-lhma at gov.wales.uk.